All right, we're starting to bench bleed the components here. I've got the slave clamped in the vise with a piece of rubber there, so I'm not clamping right on it. I've got an Allen wrench in the bleeder. I hooked the line up. I tried pouring fluid right into the hole where the line goes, like they say. Mm, that doesn't work. It just, the fluid closes the small hole, and it just bubbles back and makes a mess. So who wants that? Um... So, I put the line on, and they had included this little piece of tubing for sort of a similar process for the master, and then I said, well, how am I going to fill that? I don't have a funnel small enough. Well, I just took a plastic container and drilled an undersized hole and got some brake fluid in there above it. And it started flowing. So, let's see now. <clears throat> I'm going to crack the bleeder here. We'll see what we get. I wonder how long it's going to take. But it's going to fill up the whole reservoir. They said to disconnect those tie backs for installation so that you fill the whole cylinder nice and evenly. And, uh, well, that might work just nice. Let's see if we can't speed the process. Oh, there it is. That didn't take very long at all. All right. I'm going to check for some bubbles, take care of that fluid, and then we'll move on to the master. We'll see what nonsense we need to get into with that. All right. Remember, be creative.